Long before the Black Diamond Pool explosion in 2024 brought new attention to the hydrothermal hazards in Yellowstone National Park, there was Excelsior Geyser. In the late 1800s, the feature was the standard for hydrothermal vents. On the morning of July 23, 2024, a hydrothermal vent from Black Diamond Pool in Biscuit Basin sent people running for cover. The event was caused by liquid water turning to steam in a clogged hot water piping system just below the surface, sending a plume of steam, water, mud, and rock several hundred feet into the air. Fortunately, no one was injured. This type of explosion is relatively common in Yellowstone National Park, though rarely well documented. Explosions that left craters about 10 feet or 3 meters across have occurred in the Norris Geyser Basin in 1989 at Porkchop Geyser and more recently on April 15, 2024, above Porcelain Basin. Hydrothermal eruptions of this magnitude may occur every year or several years somewhere in Yellowstone National Park's vast landscape, but often go unnoticed because they occur at night, in winter, or in the backcountry. Something as large as the 2024 Black Diamond Pool event may occur every few decades in Yellowstone. Before the 2024 Black Diamond Pool eruption, the largest and most well-observed foreland hydrothermal eruption was the Excelsior Geyser eruption of the late 1800s. Excelsior Geyser is located in the Midway Geyser Basin adjacent to the spectacular Grand Prismatic Spring. Some activity can be characterized as dirty geyser eruptions, powerful enough to eject small rock fragments, while other events involve large boulders and large plumes of material being lifted high into the air. The first of these major eruptions appears to have been witnessed in 1878, but in 1881-82, well-observed eruptions sent material 30 to 110 meters, 100 to 360 feet into the air. The intervals between eruptions were as short as an hour, and eruptions could last for several minutes. The discharge of water from these eruptions was so great that the flow of the Firehole River increased markedly when the geyser was active, and the plume from some eruptions could be seen as far as 160 kilometers, 100 miles away as the steam created clouds.
The closing of each eruption is accompanied by a tremendous earthquake shock, which collapses the the geyserite walls and adds to the danger and grandeur of the spectacle. The mass of the broken walls is, at each eruption, thrown into the air several hundred feet above the uppermost waves, colliding with each other as it falls into the gaping chasm with a deafening noise that is most terrible.